Here are the top five mistakes when throwing hooks. The first one is dropping your hands. It telegraphs your shot. It lets them know that that hook is coming. I'm pretty much telling her, hey, I'm about to throw a hook. But on top of that, it leaves me vulnerable. If I leave my, have my hands leave my face, she could easily counter me and whatnot. So instead of dropping my hands, I'm gonna fire that hook straight from my face. Boom, and it's gonna make it a lot harder for her to counter, and it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to land. Number two, uh, the second mistake that I see when throwing hooks is lifting that chin. Um, it's not like weightlifting where when you do those curls, you wanna lift that chin as high as you can. I'm not lifting anything. I merely wanna drive my knuckles right through that jaw for the most part. And so when I fire that hook, my chin is down like I'm holding a tennis ball under my chin here. The last thing I wanna do is this. Because what happens again, it leaves me vulnerable once again. And she can hit me at the same time. And now it's a test of who can take a bigger punch. Number three mistake is hitting with your fingers, right? Sounds weird. But when you hit with your fingers, it causes your wrist to jam. So if you're having a lot of wrist problems, it's because you're landing here, not here. And so when you hit somebody in the face with that hook, it shouldn't be here. It should be here. Notice how I'm making that knuckle contact. So it looks like I'm curling my wrist a little bit, but you gotta think, when you fire that hook, it's at a slight arc. It's not going straight. And so that's why it's important to make contact with the two big knuckles. Number four, arm punching. Once again, we're not isolating muscles. We want to utilize our whole body to generate the most power and speed. And so when I'm firing that hook, I'm not just utilizing my arms. It's only so, I'm always as strong as my arm. But if I put my whole body into it, whoa, I can generate <laughs> so much more power. And so when you fire that hook, utilize your whole body. Don't isolate your arm. Put your whole body into it as you shoot. Number three. Number five. Return those hands back to your face. Uh, another common mistake is firing that hook all perfect and all of a sudden dropping the hand only to be vulnerable once again. So don't drop that hand. Boom, return. So that if they do counter, I'm ready to defend. So top five mistakes when throwing hooks. Oh yeah.